All right. For those of you that might have had some curiosity about uh, a C-195 wheel horse and the front snow thrower uh, attachment implement, um, well, there it is. Uh, let's see here. What we have is, I think this is like a 97 or 1998 model year snow thrower. Um, carefully do this. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to detach this camera. I apologize for the poor quality of the video. This is a very old camera. It's high 8 millimeter tape film. So anyway, what we have is a uh, okay model number 79360 and then the serial number 7901599. I picked this up two two winters ago. It was never used. It was uh, well. You'll notice that if you read the previous uh, video on YouTube. But anyway, it's a tall shoot model, which is the ones I recommend. Um, there was not sure if this deflection shield right here is mounted on there right, but it does seem to work well, and it helps throw the snow. Um, this thing will snow throw snow over your house, literally. Um, it's nice. There's a grease fitting right here, which, since I'm going to be putting it away, I'll be uh, cleaning all that up and getting it ready for next winter. So you got a grease fitting over here. You got some nice skid plates down here, and uh, you have there's another grease fitting here that you grease right here, and your other skid plates there. And um, you oil that chain right in there. So you oil that down really good with like some, I don't know, some, I don't know, whatever cheap oil you got. In fact, probably used motor oil would be just fine too because the cost of oil and fuel has gone through the roof anyway. Um, if you're ever looking at these things used, I would suggest try to find one that's able to be run so you could watch how this bar spins if you see any kind of wobble in this bar it's bad news um, that part from Toro is going to cost you a fortune more than probably what the person's asking to sell for the whole thing uh, you can tell I picked up a little bit of stones here I go down my yard here which is a gravel lane I try not to pick up stones, but if you do it too much, this is what's going to happen. And I've seen much worse than this. So anyway, the nice thing about these guys, uh, I like the auger, the worm gear on this. Works really well. It's good to grease that up. Now the important part is it does attach to the front attach a matic So, uh, that's real nice right there. Um, now since this is a long frame C195 tractor, there are differences. Um, if you guys have a C160 or anything else in the C series besides a 195, this thing will work just fine. Um, I had to get a different belt to get this to work off of my PTO. and this lifting pull here that lifting pull there is different for a 195 I'm actually very very lucky that my local implement dealer was able to get schematics from wheel horse call that in and have it actually made for me from Toro so that's probably a rare occurrence I don't think they do that for anything anymore I don't know how my dealer was able to get that to go but I'm very thankful um, basically, for those that wanted to know how it works and how it attaches, you have this angled part here, which is connected to your lifting pull here, and you got a big hairpin cotter here, and it just, uh, there's a hole on the end of this part here, and you just, it's simple enough, pretty easy. Um, this part, this three pulley system is with the blower along with that spring. No worries there. 
And the way this thing attaches on a 195 is down here. Um, this is what I would connect to my mower deck, the 60 inch mower deck right here, this arm here, this picking point. On a 195, this long lifting pole, the flag on the end that attaches to this part on a 195 is what's used to use for lifting your, your blower, your thrower. The interesting thing is this flag here that some people seem to call this, it doesn't come out of the pole. It's actually welded on here. And that's probably the biggest difference between a 195 thrower lifting pole for the snow thrower and like any other C-series snow thrower lifting pole. So this is welded to this. This does not slide in and out. And I'll show you that later. And it looks like my cylinder is starting to leak here. Yeah. I really barely lose any kind of oil in my transmission hydrostack system. So I'm not really concerned about that leak. But anyway, and then the other thing is, um, let's see here, and I don't know how good this video is going to turn out, but anyway, you have your, your chute rotation uh, worm gear thing handle. This just attaches to this, it goes down here, and this is the mid-mount attack o -matic for the mower deck. You take off your mower deck and you just attach this rod in here just like so. It's, it literally takes five minutes, not even, for me to detach this thing. And I just love Wheel Horse for the simplicity of how things connect and disconnect from their machines. Um, for those of you that would like a tractor like this, honestly, stay away from a C195. They're rare. It's probably better for the restoration crowd. Get yourself a 520. You're going to have plenty of parts, and there's and you're going to be tired of looking up parts from Toro, and it's going to say NLA there, no longer available. Um, so stay with the 520 wheel horse. You'll be far off better. And I'll show you real quick how this is going to detach. And again, I don't know how good this is going to come out. So I'll just set this here. And all I'm going to do is I'll just pull this. There it goes. I'll put this right back on there. And you can see this flag does not come out of here. It just, it's welded right on here. And that, that does that. And then I'm going to go ahead and dis disconnect this tachymatic rod here so that I can uh, pull that off you just push it in go like that it released it that came off there and then you have to release the front tachymatic so that you can disconnect this joker off of your tractor. So here it goes. I don't know if I need to roll the tractor back and forth or what, but there she is. So that's released. Now the only thing you need to do is your belt off of your PTO. Now on a 195 the outer groove is for the blower. This center groove would come down here and go up to your mule drive for your mower deck. Then there's a big space here and then this belt there is your hydrostat belt that goes underneath this back to the pump. The neat thing about, another thing I love about wheel horse implements is that it's just so simple to do these belts. You just take this off. I'm probably bouncing this camera all over. 
pull the pin. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Do I want to do this or do I want to do the other way? How about that, folks? It's probably not good to cut cords in the belt like that. What I'm going to do is have to set the camera down so I can take the tension off the spring. That's it. Very simple. Too good to be true. Nothing should be complicated. Ever. If it's too involved, it's just pointless. Just pointless. So that's on there. There. Oh, by the way, uh, let's see what belt this is. Now this is a green belt for reverse bending over pulleys. They're extra heavy duty. This is a power rated Gates belt 6977 model. <laughs> Made in Mexico. Anyway, it's, it's holding up quite well. So that's the belt make and model for a Gates belt that you would throw on a 195 if you had a a tall shoot blower. Now, this is the original lifting pole that came with the blower for any other other C series tractor. And like I said, this flag inserts in here like that. And then this would connect this part here would connect to your lifting um, attachment off of your hydraulic cylinder. So this, I've never used this because I can't use it. But this would be, and I'm hanging on to it if I ever sell that blower, uh, this is what you would use like on a C160, a C140, a 125, whatever. And the original wheel horse belt, this is an old belt here. Let's see here, this is a wheel horse 9750 I believe. Wheel Horse 9750 would be the belt that you would use. Here's another spring. Some more stuff that came with the kit. Um, another cotter, which might be smart for me to just put on here so that I don't ever lose it. They're cheap enough to buy anyway. So anyway, hopefully that helped clarify some stuff for people. Um, I'm going to put it right back together again and take it over to my other garage on the other side of that wall there where I store my implements. And uh, anyway, there you have it. This is an 82 wheel horse 195. She's got 21, 60 hours starting to smoke when it starts up. Other than that, it runs great. Uh, KT 19 Kohler put a tack on it for tuning it up and keeping it running good and um, it's got some issues this isn't the right fuel ga gauge um, I'm gonna have to take this apart and shim it up so that it doesn't try to jump out of the sector gear down below but I go real easy when I steer um, you don't need wheel weights, but if you want to use this snow thrower, even on a C160, I would recommend chains for sure. And if you've got wheel weights, definitely use them. Most people just keep them on. Um, it's a beast of a tractor. It's a beast of a snow thrower too. Um, we get three foot snow drifts on one half of my driveway by a wall. And this thing picks the pile up and throws it without a problem. So, alright, hope that helps out you guys.